Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Sandra. Thanks for coming on over to take this time to get to know us a little bit better. Why don't you come on in to our house? Come on. We just wanted to share some information with you about our family. Um, when Eric and I met, my son was four years old and he is Graham. He's 19 right now and Eric actually adopted him um, after we got married 13 years ago. So that's our first child and then um, we decided at that point when we couldn't have any more children of our own to pursue adoption uh, because we've always wanted a big family. Yeah, so about two years ago we received a call that uh, a beautiful baby girl had been born and that we had been matched to her. Her name is Nora. Um, and she's been a fantastic addition to our family. Um, my son, Graham, Nora, um, he adores Nora. He's great with her. Um, she's a highlight um, to, to all of us in our family. Um, so she's been a great addition to the family. And adoption has been the way that we have grown our family. So we'd like to continue that and um, looking for another child to adopt. So one of the first things that uh, that really drew me to Sandra was her um, was her smile. She has a real vigor for life, and um, it, it's interesting. It comes out in, in different um, different areas of uh, of life. Um, she's she's a teacher, and um, you know she's been known to do some kind of crazy things in her classroom. Like she'll be jumping off of a chair to demonstrate. Um, gravity or, or doing other things um, you know but the kids really really like her um, and really like her as a teacher um, however she has um, she has decided when we when we had Nora um, to stay home um, full-time now with Nora um, and we'll continue to do so um, with the next child that, that we have so um, she keeps basically all of our family traditions together um, she organizes those family events. Um, she makes sure that every Christmas we have enough Christmas cookies um, and that the family's all together. Um, one of our traditions is that we decorate the tree together. Um, and that is one thing that she makes sure that we do every year. Easter eggs, pumpkins, etc. So she's full of life, spirit, and energy. And we look forward to really being able to share that. I want to tell you a little bit more about my husband, Eric. So we met actually on a trip with some mutual friends and we went canoeing together. Um, and I made sure that he was in the same canoe as me and we could paddle together. We had pretty good teamwork right off the bat. Um, anyway, he is an amazing person. He is very supportive of me and the whole family. Um, he loves so many things. He has so many hobbies and interests. He likes to work on boats and cars and fix things and tinker with things. And he's always just a ton of fun to be around. So he always, he's great with the kids. He always makes sure they go swimming and they go do fun activities. We are nature lovers. So we always like to be doing things outside. We like hiking, we like boating, we like being out in the water for sure. Um, one of the things we always do is ever since I was little, my family's been going up north to our cottage. And actually my grandpa, um, they built him a cottage and he lived there for a while. And then my dad designed our own cottage and built that one too. So we've been going up there since I was two years old, every other weekend just about. So even now we take the kids up there and we enjoy just being up there out in the wilderness. Yeah, and then on the 4th of July, another family tradition that we have is that we spend 4th of July traditionally with my family, my mom and dad, um, and we'll be on the beach on the 4th of July, uh, boating, uh, doing different outdoor activities, and then on the 4th of July there is a huge fireworks show that's a tradition for us to be down on the beach, um, sitting on the shores of Lake Michigan to watch the fireworks. And we visit the family farm up there too, which is really nice. So when we first got married, we decided on a, um, a neighborhood that we really liked and there were a number of reasons why, why we like where we live. Um, it is a small town feel um, in the middle of a 
big city. So there are a tremendous amount of activities, parades, festivals. Um, you can walk around throughout the city. Everything is within walking distance. Um, so we really like it here. Um, it's also a very diverse uh, neighborhood, so we also like that. Um, in addition, we actually, our first house, uh, we sold and we ended up building a second house, which is approximately six blocks away from where our first house was. And, uh, you know, it kind of gives you an idea that, uh, that we really enjoy this, this neighborhood and it's a great family neighborhood with lots of kids. Our two children have their own individual adoption stories. And we think it's really neat, even though right now Graham's a lot older, we think it's neat that they're going to have this connection and be able to talk to each other about it. And it's nice that our kids will have that connection, even though everyone's story is a little different. So adopting a third child, we feel the same way. The story will always be different in their own, but our kids will have that connection together. So whatever you're comfortable with, whether it's a closed adoption, whether it's an open adoption, um, we are willing to um, do whatever you want. Thank you very much for watching our tape and getting to know us a little bit more. I hope this was informative for you. Yeah, thank you for spending time to watch, um, to watch our video, learn more about us, and we hope that you choose us. Thanks. Thank you.